Hmm, okay, well, I've got the timesheet uh, working, so when I click here and type in employee ID, I get the new employee details, their hourly rate and their overtime rate, so that's all being brought in from this other worksheet called employees, which has got first name, last name, hourly rate and overtime rate. Uh, what we want to do now is uh, allow the user to basically press a button and save all the details. So all these details that are actually on screen in the timesheet, we want to save them in a table somewhere. Now I've created uh, another worksheet called timesheet table down the bottom here, which has got uh, the details from the first worksheet, the timesheet form. And I want to copy those details. So basically I want to press a button, take all these details, and want to appear here. Now this is quite an involved process. Uh, and I'm going to use a macro to do this. So a macro is a recording of all the steps I'm going to take. First before we do the macro, we need to actually store the details down underneath in a hidden spot. It will be hidden later from the user. I want to store these details on the same worksheet. And I'm just going to put in simple formulas to do that, which is just the equals. And so for each each one of these fields, I just put the equals in. And so they move down to the bottom of my form. I'll do this very quickly. Whoops. Doesn't matter about the formatting, doesn't matter if you can't see everything. We're just using this, as we see later, to copy some details. Once I get all of them in. Oops, wrong one. That's the one I want there. What else do I need on my form? Total hours and salary. So total hours is that cell. So it's just equals and you just click on the cell name and it just makes the cell value uh, appears down here. And we want the total salary is the final bit. Okay, so all I've got is a simple copy, everything on the timesheet, but I've got it in one row. And that's what I'm going to use to copy. I'm going to copy this to my timesheet table. As I said, it's quite involved, so there's a number of other steps in there. Uh, the first thing is, what I want to do is, I'm going to have to copy this and as part of the macro. So all, all you should have before you record the macro is this line here. Uh, so macros, you go to the developer tab, and you've got this record macro option uh, and you just start recording so I will click now so now we're in recording mode uh, you give it a name I'm just going to call this test but you should give it something sensible like uh, copy timesheet I'm going to press this OK so now we're oops I've already got one but I'll carry on so now we're actually in the recording so the first thing I want to do as I just did is copy this and I'm going to do use this paste special. So I'm going to do paste special. I'm going to take paste the values and the number format. So that's step one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this again. So now I'm copying the second line, which has just got the values in. I'm going to click on my timesheet table. And I'm going to come here. And now I'm going to paste, or oh, sorry, I'm going to do insert copied cells. This is quite important because if there was data already in this table I'd want this to be inserted above it and the rest of it to go. So I'm going to do insert copied cells shift cells down. Okay so now it's copied in the right place now I need to go back to my timesheet form uh, and I just need to get rid of this copied data so I'm just going to delete that row click back so the user starts from the beginning again and I've finished everything and I just click stop recording. Okay, let's see if this works. So I've already got George Bush in once. Let's do another one. Whoops, let's do not that. Let's go and change the employee ID. I know there's one called 1003, so I click on it and I've got somebody else. And you can see that straight away down the bottom this line's appeared because we're using those equals. Now let's run our macro. If I do macros, and I think I called this test 5, and let's just run it. Let me go back, click on the timesheet table, and you can see that the line for 
Eric Cartman has appeared above the George Bush line. 